Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're joining us from. And welcome to Amtrak Vacations Explore the California Coast by Rail presentation. Uh, I'd like to start off here by saying a great big thank you to everybody joining us today. Thank you so much for spending your time with us as uh, we do a great presentation here for you guys on our California Coast Rail Vacations here with Amtrak Vacations. I'm very excited to share this topic with you and let me begin by introducing myself here. My name is Colleen McCarthy. I've been very lucky to work at Amtrak Vacations uh, for quite some time now and uh, very excited to share this California Coast presentation with you, California. I like to think of it as my home away from home. Uh, for those of you who are lucky enough to live there, you know all about it. And for those of you like me who live uh, maybe somewhere a little chillier in the winter time, I think you'll really enjoy this presentation and see all the different kind of trips that we have to offer on some of Amtrak's most stunning uh, scenery in our country uh, there in California. Uh, now, before I begin, I do want to remind everybody to stay tuned all the way until the end of the presentation here because we actually have an exclusive discount just for you folks on the webinar this morning, an exclusive discount, which we'll get to here at the end of the presentation for you to book your next Amtrak vacation, hopefully maybe out to the California coast. And in addition to that, one lucky person is actually going to win a $100 Amtrak vacations gift card to use towards their next trip, and we'll announce that winner at the end of today's presentation. Now, why travel with Amtrak Vacations? Uh, there's a lot of reasons why you should travel with Amtrak Vacations to California or anywhere else there in our country. Uh, for one thing, it is a bucket list experience. Whether you're familiar with the train, maybe from movies or um, great songs like the city of New Orleans or, you know, a lot of people have that image of train travel, that romantic kind of image in their mind. And it really is a bucket list experience here. Uh, with Amtrak Vacations to take a long distance train journey, maybe get one of the cabins and sleep overnight on board the train, eat some meals in the dining car. It's really a fantastic experience. Uh, again, of course, if you're traveling with Amtrak, you have room to roam. Now, if you guys are familiar with air travel, you know, you're stuck in your seat there, not a lot of room to move around, but it's totally different when you travel on board a train. Not only do you have access to your coach seat or your sleeper cabin, wherever you may be seated for the day, uh, you can get up and go to the lounge car. They've got a sightseeing lounge car in all of the long distance trains. In addition, there's a cafe, there's a dining car. You can get up, stretch your legs, walk around, and you really feel uh, very comfortable on your Amtrak vacation. And in addition, it's less hassle. No long security lines. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about baggage check. It's simple and easy, and we make things really easy for you here at Amtrak Vacations by getting your arrangements set up for you ahead of time. Uh, so we'll help you with your hotel reservations, sightseeing activities, your train travel, your accommodations, everything we help you uh, put together for your Amtrak vacation. City to city service is another great reason to take Amtrak. Uh, in most cases, your Amtrak station is dead center in the middle of the city, uh, especially, you know, somewhere like Los Angeles or um, San Francisco, very centrally located for you when you get off your trip to get right to your hotel and right to the center of the action. You're not going to be in one of these 45 minute cab rides from an airport to, uh, to actually get to the city that you want to be in. Satisfy your hunger. Dining on board Amtrak is absolutely one of the highlights of your journey. I can't speak highly enough about it. We'll get to it a little bit later in the presentation, but I can personally, personally vouch for the steak on board Amtrak. Exactly, the steak on board Amtrak, everybody. We're talking about real food on board the train, prepared fresh on that train for you by an Amtrak chef uh, while you're traveling. So none of these kind of recycled microwave uh, meals that you might get on an airplane. And in addition with Amtrak Vacations, you have that flexibility. So I'm going to show you several of our fantastic trips today, but always keep in mind that we can customize any of these trips to fit your needs. Uh, if you want to start at a different station, if you want to take the trip in reverse, if you want to stop in the middle, uh, we can do any of these things here for you. Um, and now I'd like to show you guys the Amtrak system map. I think this is fantastic. I think a lot of people really don't know 
just how much of the country that Amtrak covers. Uh, if you look at the map here, you can see they've got routes that go through all, of, uh, just about all, 46 of the 48 continuous United States here. Um, and there's over 500 Amtrak stations where you can start or end your trip. Um, so a lot of people will start at the Amtrak station in their hometown, maybe start at South Station if you're in the Boston area near me, uh, or a lot of people will actually choose to fly either at the beginning or at the end of their trip and take Amtrak in the middle. So for example, if you're up here in the Northeast and you want to travel out to the California coast, a lot of people will choose to fly out there, um, take the train all up and down the coast and then fly back home at the end. We can help you customize any of your train travel and then uh, any of our agents here, or if you talk to your local travel agents as well, can help you make other arrangements uh, to get started on your Amtrak vacation. Another great feature of Amtrak here is that there is no middle seat on Amtrak. Uh, whatever class of service you guys choose to use on board your Amtrak vacation, there is no middle seat. For the coach seating, it's two seats and then an aisle and then two more seats. None of this dreaded middle seat that you often find on the airlines. Similarly, there is no super long TSA security line. You're not going to have to get to the station two, two and a half hours early just to uh, get on your vacation. A lot of people choose to show up on board about 30 to 45 minutes uh, prior to their trip, depending if you're going to check luggage or not. Uh, but it's very smooth and easy boarding process on Amtrak. It's very comfortable. Uh, you don't have to worry about some of these very long security lines. And you don't need to spend your day sitting in traffic either. Uh, as I said, a lot of the Amtrak stations here are centrally located. Um, you're not going to have to get a taxi very far from the Amtrak station to your hotel, You know, maybe within walking distance or just a mile away. Uh, so you're not going to have to spend your day sitting in traffic. And again, there's no need to be confined to your seat. I uh, touched on this a moment ago, but on Amtrak you can get up and you can move around. You can stretch your legs, you can go down to the dining car, grab a snack in the cafe, sit in our lounge car and look out at some of the spectacular scenery on the California coast or elsewhere. And uh, it's fun saying we have here at Amtrak Vacations, clouds look the same everywhere. So no matter where you travel on an airplane, you're going to have the same view. Uh, one of the best things about taking a trip here with Amtrak is that the journey really is part of your holiday. Uh, you're going to see some spectacular scenery that you can't see any other way. You can't see it by plane, you can't see it by car. Amtrak tracks go through some of the most beautiful and scenic parts of our country, especially in California, which we're going to talk about today. I actually had someone on uh, one of the last presentations that I did when we were featuring California, who's lived in California his whole life, and he was shocked at some of the views we were showing because he said he's never actually seen that part of uh, his state by car because you just can't get there. So that's really one of the great highlights when you're taking an Amtrak vacation, is the spectacular scenery. And we here at Amtrak Vacations have a travel style to suit you. No matter what your style is, we can accommodate you here with our trips. We've got independent rail journeys, a lot of the ones we're going to look at today, which are multi-city trips with the train in between. So you may go from San Diego to Los Angeles to San Francisco, up to Portland and Seattle. Uh, we can arrange that for you with your accommodations and your sightseeing. Uh, similar to that, we've got rail experience. Now that's actually uh, again, multi-cities, but it's really focused on the rail experience. So we've got you on the train for maybe a couple days in a row where you really get to stretch out and see cross-country train travel, things like that. We have family adventures, which are designed with families in mind. So you have activities on these, which are great for younger kids, older kids, uh, really older kids like myself. Uh, no matter what, we've got something that's going to suit your family. We also have getaways. If you just want to go for a short weekend trip from your hometown somewhere, you can catch the train and take a short getaway uh, two, three nights. We also have rail and sail programs, which are a lot of fun. You can combine up two very different and very fun modes of travel here. Take the Amtrak train, for example, out to Seattle and take a cruise to Alaska. Uh, so we've got some different programs like that with the rail and sail. And of course, we can customize any and all of these trips that we look at today. So always keep that in mind, folks. 
Uh, say we've got a trip that starts in Los Angeles, but you folks live in Irvine, we can get you on the train over to LA. Or let's say you live in New York and you're interested in our California coast trips, we can get you the train out to California to start out. So all of these trips here are customizable, which is a great feature of our independent travel. And when I say independent travel, everybody, just so you understand what I mean, independent travel here with Amtrak Vacations, we're going to take care of the details for you. We're going to set up your hotel stays. We're going to set up some fantastic sightseeing in each city. But you're not traveling with a group, and you're not uh, beholden to somebody else's schedule. You have some really great flexibility to do what you like and see what you want to see on board these trips, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, now, of course, if you're interested in any of the trips that we're going to talk about today in the California coast or anything else that we offer, I strongly encourage you to give us a call here at 1-800-AMTRAK2. Uh, visit our website, AmtrakVacations.com, or call your local travel agent. Uh, travel agents are a great resource. Uh, we love working with them, so definitely give your travel agent a call uh, if you have any interest in any of these trips, or call us or visit our website here for further information. Now, I do want to point out here, you will should be able to see it on your screen, uh, the questions box. Please, please, please feel free to type questions as I go through the presentation. We'll address all the questions, as many as I have time for anyway, at the end of the presentation. And anything I don't have time to answer, one of our travel specialists will definitely reach out to you and let you know the answer to your question. So please, throughout the presentation, if anything comes up and you have a question, type it away there. Uh, and as well, we actually have a really nice handout. You should be able to see the link there on your screen. Uh, go ahead and download that handout for more information on some of the trips that we mentioned today. And without further ado, I'd like to go ahead and jump into our California Coast presentation. I want to start here with one of my favorite trips that we offer, the Californian. Uh, so the Californian here is an eight-night trip. As you can see, it starts with four nights in San Francisco. And then you take Amtrak's beautiful Coast Starlight train down to Los Angeles for two nights before ending in San Diego for two nights. Now, between LA and San Diego, you take Amtrak's other beautiful coastal route, the Pacific Surfliner. And we'll talk about those routes here in just a moment. Your trip starts out, as I mentioned, in San Francisco, and we have some great activities for you while you're in San Francisco. We've got a hop-on, hop-off tour of the city. You can take that all around and see all the fantastic neighborhoods that San Francisco is known for. Of course, you've got Fisherman's Wharf, you've got Chinatown, um, Union Square, so many different exciting and fun and vibrant neighborhoods. Haight-Ashbury, of course, uh, if you're into Janis Joplin or anything like that. There's some really great beautiful parts of San Francisco for you to visit. The hop on hop off tour is so great because you can hop on and hop off at your leisure. Exactly how it sounds. Uh, as the tour stops, for example, at Fisherman's Wharf, you can disembark the tour, you can get off, you can get some amazing seafood down at Fisherman's Wharf, see the sights, and then you can get back on the next uh, hop on hop off tour bus that comes by and continue on your sightseeing exploration of San Francisco. Because you're there for four days, we've actually got two really excellent full day tours included for you from San Francisco as well. The first is a full day at Yosemite National Park. This is an excellent tour, everyone. You get up in the morning, you take a beautiful ride from San Francisco out to Yosemite National Park. Uh, you've got a great bus driver and guide on your trip there, and you've got some free time in the park to see absolutely one of America's most beautiful national parks at Yosemite, and then they'll bring you back to San Francisco at the end of your day. So it's a great full day tour out to the national park. And then if you're interested in wine country, no visit to San Francisco would be complete without venturing out to Sonoma and Napa Valley, famous for some of the most amazing California wines, uh, some of the best wines in the country there. Your wine country tour is ideal because they'll do the driving for you so you can feel free to indulge in all the tastings which are included at the various wineries that you visit. Uh, you can really get a great taste for some of San Francisco and uh, Northern California's beautiful wine selection on this particular trip. Now from San Francisco, you folks will board the Coast Starlight train down to Los Angeles. 
I really can't say enough about this train journey, everyone. It's absolutely spectacular. It's a full day on board Amtrak. So you'll board the train in the morning and you'll arrive in at Los Angeles that evening. Uh, in Los Angeles, you've got two nights and we do include a hop on hop off tour there as well. So you can see the Griffith Observatory, you can see the Hollywood sign, you can see the Chinese theater, you can see Beverly Hills and where the some of the movie stars live. Uh, it's a really great city and a lot of fun to explore. And of course, you do have that um, Coast Starlight journey in between. Um, now, the Coast Starlight onboard Amtrak, it's one of the their famous trains here in the U.S. The Coast Starlight is unique for Amtrak because it does include the Pacific Parlor Car in addition to all of the regular cars on board Amtrak's long distance service. So the Pacific Parlor Car, everyone, is a unique car just for the sleeper and business class passengers. Uh, it's an additional lounge car with you know a, a bar and you can grab snacks and things there. As well, you could choose to have your lunch or light meal service served in the Pacific Parlor Car as well. Uh, it's a really great feature traveling on board Amtrak if you did upgrade to the business or the sleeper accommodations to be able to have access to that Pacific Parlor car. And we'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later in the presentation. Now from Los Angeles, you folks will take the Pacific Surfliner train down to San Diego. And this has some absolutely stunning scenery on this uh, journey as well. As you can see here on the slide, there's some really beautiful coastal scenery. Uh, your train actually goes right by the beach at many points. Uh, I was lucky enough uh, to be out in San Diego recently uh, touring and took the hop on hop off tour there of San Diego and that's going to bring you to all kinds of different places within the city. Uh, Balboa Park and the zoo, uh, the gas lamp district, uh, it's going to bring you down to the waterfront as well. There's a lot of great stops in that hop on hop off tour which we do include for you in San Diego. So again that trip there is called the Californian. It is a nine day trip. Uh, eight nights, nine days, and does do San Francisco, Yosemite, Napa Valley, Los Angeles, and San Diego. Uh, again, we have the hop on hop off tours there in all three cities, as well as those two fantastic full day tours out of San Francisco. I think this is a really great quintessential California trip for you folks who are looking to do some of Amtrak's you know, beautiful trains, California coast trains, and spend some time in some really fantastic cities as well. Now, if you want to do more of a hop on, hop off kind of style trip on board the train, rather than spending all day between San Francisco and Los Angeles, we've actually got another trip here called the California Dreamin', which is a lot of fun. It'll give you a chance to see some more of the smaller towns in uh, California as well. So this one here starts in Los Angeles with two nights. Uh, then you take the Coast Starlight again up to Santa Barbara, and you can actually see kind of in the map there how much that Part of the journey hugs the coastline. It's absolutely stunning scenery there, coastal scenery. Then you hop on up to Paso Robles, uh, and you've got two nights there in some of that Central California wine country uh, before continuing on to San Francisco, where you spend two nights at the end of your trip. And again, guys, these are all customizable trips, so if you love the look of the California dream in here, but you want to continue on the Coast Starlight all the way to Seattle, we can absolutely arrange that for you. Uh, again, we're going to start out here with two nights in Los Angeles, and on this trip, we include for you a Hollywood sightseeing tour, so you get a chance to see some of the mansions where the movie stars live there in Los Angeles, as well as the Hollywood sign, the Grauman's Chinese Theater, and some of the major sites of Los Angeles. Before you board the Coast Starlight at uh, California or Los Angeles Union Station, to take your trip up to Santa Barbara, which is um, sometimes called America's Riviera for the beautiful scenery there in Santa Barbara. Uh, there we include the hop on hop off trolley for you as well, which is gonna visit the waterfront. It can take you to the beach. You can take it to the zoo or to the old mission. All of the sites there in Santa Barbara that you would wanna see, you can use that trolley tour. This is a great, beautiful city to take in some uh, really lovely beaches, so you go relax on the beach, uh, have a beautiful dinner overlooking the water, you know, get a glass of wine maybe. Uh, it's a really beautiful city and a really fun uh, place to relax and, and spend some time on the ocean. 
from there, you're going to head inland a little bit uh, to two nights in Paso Robles, which is beautiful Central California wine country. Uh, while you're there, we do include a tour of the wineries for you, which does include a picnic lunch. So it's a lot of fun. And we also include a tour out to Hearst Castle, which is a stunning mansion uh, built by William Randolph Hearst, for anyone who's unfamiliar with it. It's a really great day tour. It's a lot of fun uh, there. You spend two nights before you continue on the Coast Starlight train up to San Francisco, which is one of my favorite cities in the country, everyone. If you haven't been to San Francisco, I cannot recommend it highly enough. I mentioned earlier that it's got a lot of different neighborhoods. There's a lot of beautiful culture and some really wonderful people there in San Francisco, a lot to see and do. And then this particular trip, we include that hop on, hop off sightseeing tour. So you can really explore the city on your own. Uh, really get a chance to get in and see some of the great neighborhoods there in San Francisco. So this is another trip which does feature that Coast Starlight train, uh, which is famous again across the country for some of the best scenery on board Amtrak. It's a nine-day trip there, Los Angeles, Santa Barbara, Paso Robles, San Francisco. So it gives you a chance to really see some of the different and uh, various cities there in California. It's really nice. You've got those hop on hop off sightseeing tours as well as the winery tour and the tour out to Hearst Castle. Uh, so it's a really great trip here, the California Dreamin', so keep that one in mind. I've got an excellent view for you of Amtrak's Pacific Surfliner train. As we mentioned, this train goes uh, from LA down to San Diego. Uh, you can see here on the slide, it literally goes right by the beach in a lot of cases. Uh, you can pretend that you're at work, um, but really you can relax out there on the beach as Amtrak goes by. And it's just, of course, as you can imagine, sitting on board that train, uh, you just see some really beautiful and stunning coastal scenery as you travel from city to city on board Amtrak. And as I mentioned before, we can customize any of these rail trips to fit your needs. For example, the California Dream and Trip starts in Los Angeles, but if you'd prefer to start it in San Diego so you can see San Diego and have a chance to take this beautiful Pacific Surfliner train, we can absolutely do that for you. We can also add more stops in the middle or we can change the number of nights, whatever you're interested in doing, uh, we can make that happen there for you. Uh, another great trip that we offer here at Amtrak Vacations in California is our San Francisco and Yosemite Family Adventure. Uh, the next couple trips that I'm going to talk about, guys, are called Family Adventures. And as I mentioned at the beginning, the Family Adventures are geared, uh, you know, they're designed with a family in mind uh, so that we have fun and exciting activities, whatever your age level. But don't feel that you need to have children uh, if you want to take one of these trips. Uh, often sell them to adults' families as well. Uh, it's really just, you know, about having some really fun and, and unique activities here. Uh, this trip here starts in Los Angeles. You take the amazing Coast Star Light train up to San Francisco for three nights, where you do a full day tour out to Yosemite National Park before taking that Coast Star Light train back to Los Angeles at the end of your stay. And in addition to the Yosemite trip, we do also include a multi day hop on, hop off sightseeing tour of. San Francisco, so you can go get some fish and chips on the waterfront, you can go and see the Golden Gate Bridge and get some fantastic pictures of that, uh, lots of fun to see and do there. California and uh, San Francisco in particular are great for kids. Uh, there's a great California Academy of Science Museum in San Francisco, which is a lot of fun for kids as well if you are looking for family activities to do there. And then of course your day trip out to Yosemite National Park. You'll see some absolutely spectacular and stunning scenery there in Yosemite. Mountain ranges, waterfalls, you name it, we've got it here in Yosemite National Park for you. That's a full day tour from San Francisco and that's really very convenient for you. You know, again, we'll take care of the driving for you, you don't have to worry about it. You get some really great quality time in the park there as well. Again, that's a shorter trip, so it's a little easier, especially if you're based in California. Again, you can do kind of some of these shorter trips on a long weekend. Head up to San Francisco. It's four days, so you have the sightseeing tour, the tour of Yosemite, three nights hotel, and uh, the round trip Amtrak accommodations. Now, as we mentioned here, the accommodations are in coach, but we do have the upgrades available. We'll talk about the different accommodations on Amtrak a little bit later 
in the presentation, but just so you keep that in mind, any of these trips we can upgrade for you, we can change uh, your hotels. Typically our hotels on Amtrak vacations are quite centrally located. You know, we pride ourselves on having hotels right near this train station uh, or right near all the exciting activities, but we can change that around if you prefer to stay in Union Square in San Francisco instead of Fisherman's Wharf. We can definitely make that arrangement for you. Another great family adventure here is the Southern California family adventure. Uh, this one starts in San Francisco, but of course you can pick it up anywhere. Uh, again, close to your hometown, we can get you the rail. Uh, again, over 500 Amtrak stations across the country. Uh, this one does Anaheim and San Diego combined, so it's four night trip here, two nights in Anaheim and two nights in San Diego. And for those of you who don't know, Anaheim is the happiest place on earth. It's the home to Disneyland Resort. And this trip does include a one day, one park admission to Disneyland. And again, you are there for two nights. So if you wanted to change it to a two day park admission or add time in Anaheim, we can certainly do that for you there. And then we have you take Amtrak's uh, Surfliner train down to San Diego. And again, that's some really stunning scenery going right by the beach on the Pacific Surfliner train. It's a double-decker train, so you do have uh, some really nice views from the top level. It's a little insider tip. Um, and while you're in San Diego, we include admission to the San Diego Zoo. And I was very lucky to be able to visit the San Diego Zoo just a couple weeks ago. It's an absolutely fantastic place. So much to see in the zoo. You can easily spend an entire day there. And again, not just for kids. <laughs> I quite enjoyed it myself. And again, we include that hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour in San Diego. So you can go down to the waterfront, you can go to the beach, uh, get some great dinner in the gas lamp district. Um, you know, you can visit all the different sites of San Diego on that hop-on, hop-off tour that we include for you. The Southern California Family Adventure, everyone, as I mentioned, it's a five-day trip, so four nights. Uh, San Francisco down to Anaheim, San Diego, and then back up to San Francisco. And again, you've got the admission to Disneyland, the admission to the zoo, and the hop-on, hop-off tour. Another great little perk of this particular trip, if you are traveling with children, is that they do eat free dining at the hotel there in Anaheim. So nice little savings for you on this particular trip if you are traveling with children. Uh, definitely something to ask our uh, travel consultants or ask your local travel agent about when you're uh, booking your trip. And speaking of meal times, uh, if you did choose to upgrade to the sleeping accommodations when you are traveling on board Amtrak, either overnight or even just for a long day, so as I mentioned, that Coast Starlight train starts in the morning and ends in the evening, so you're on the train all day. If you did want to take your own little private cabin during that time, all of your meals on board Amtrak are included for you. It's a great perk of taking one of those sleeping accommodations. Um, all the meals in the dining car are served during mealtime, so if you're on the train for breakfast, lunch, dinner, you'll get that meal complimentary in the dining car. Uh, one thing I love to tell people is that if you are on that Coast Starlight train, look up what time sunset is going to be before you board the train and try and arrange your meal time so that you're dining uh, as the sun sets, especially if you're coming south, so from San Francisco down to Los Angeles. Um, when I took the train, that's exactly what I did, and I got to have my ravioli overlooking the sunset over the water on the Pacific Ocean, and it was uh, something I think I'll always remember. So just a little tip there, that's a good choice. When you do have those sleeping accommodations and you do dine in the dining car, uh, you'll actually make reservations for dinner. So the attendant will come around and ask if you want to eat at 5 or at 6 or at 7. You know, they have different meal times for you for lunch and for dinner. Uh, so you can make your reservations accordingly once you board the train. Now, if you love the idea of taking the Coast Starlight train, but you actually want a little bit more train action, uh, this Pacific Rail experience might be for you. So this trip starts in Los Angeles. Oops, sorry, starts in Chicago. Uh, you do two nights on board the Southwest Chief uh, out to Los Angeles. Then you take the Coast Starlight train, as we've talked about, up to San Francisco for three nights. 
before taking Amtrak's California Zephyr train two nights on back to Chicago. So this is definitely a little bit of a longer trip, and as I mentioned, this one is a rail experience, so it really highlights some of Amtrak's most beautiful and most popular train routes. This is for you train buffs out there that really want to get that full Amtrak experience, sleeping on the train, dining on the train, and then see some really great California cities in between. So as I mentioned, you take the Southwest Chief route, you can see on the map there, goes down through Oklahoma, Texas, and then some really spectacular desert scenery in New Mexico and Arizona before coming into Los Angeles. Then you take Amtrak's Coast Starlight train up to San Francisco for three nights. And then Amtrak's California Zephyr train back to Chicago. Uh, I was very lucky to be able to do this this past summer, the California Zephyr train. Unbelievable scenery. You go through the Sierra Nevada Mountains in California. You go through the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. It's really spectacular and unrivaled scenery on this route as well. So this is a perfect combination, I think, to be able to see some of the best of Amtrak scenic routes and also take in some of the best of California cities on your trip. Again, we do have that night in Los Angeles for you, and we include the hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour while you're there. And again, these are customizable trips, everyone, so if you wanted to add some more time in LA uh, to be able to see some more of the attractions, we can absolutely do that for you. Before you head on over to San Francisco, this is a great shot here of Lombard Street, which is one of the craziest streets I've ever had the experience of driving down. <laughs> I think you can see a little bit in the slide here. It is a very crooked and very windy street here in San Francisco and uh, featured on the Hop On Hop Off tour there. In addition, on this particular trip, we include the Sausalito and Muir Woods Day Tour, which is a lot of fun. A lot of people don't know that Muir Woods is actually right outside of San Francisco, so you can see some incredible tall redwood trees just outside the city there. And we also include a bay cruise of San Francisco, uh, so you can actually get out on the water on the Pacific Ocean and enjoy some of that beautiful scenery from the bay side. Pacific Rail Experience, again, it's nine days. You do Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and then head on back to Chicago. Uh, you've got some great sightseeing tours in Los Angeles and San Francisco included there as well. Four nights hotel accommodations and four nights on board Amtrak. So this is a great opportunity, everyone, to go ahead and upgrade to one of those sleeping accommodations so that all of your meals would be included for you on your Amtrak overnight. It's a great suggestion. Definitely ask our uh, travel specialists or your travel agent about those upgrade options on board this particular trip. Um, as I mentioned sort of at the beginning of the presentation here, Amtrak really takes you from city center to city center. So Union Station in Chicago, for example, to Union Station in Los Angeles. They are right downtown uh, stations and they're very close to where your uh, hotels will be, very close to the different sightseeing in each city. Um, as I mentioned, you know, those upgrades do include dining on board the train. The other thing that upgrading includes on Amtrak is actually access to some of the station lounges. So Los Angeles has the Metropolitan Lounge there. And if you are a sleeper class or business class uh, traveler on the Coast Starlight, you do have access to the Metropolitan Lounge, which is a, a special lounge there in the station for you to sit back and relax. You get priority boarding. They'll hold your luggage. They have snacks. Uh, it's a really great feature, again, of some of those upgrades on board the train. And now we've got the Pacific Northwest trip to talk about. Uh, the Pacific Northwest trip I love because this does the other half of the coast starlight. So we've been talking all about LA to San Francisco and those beautiful coastal views. Uh, if you want to combine that with the rest of the route and do the full coast starlight route, it's actually an overnight here from San Francisco to Portland, Oregon. You do two nights to start out in San Francisco. You do the overnight on board Amtrak on the Coast Starlight train. You do two nights in Portland, and then you can take uh, the train up two nights in S Seattle as well. Uh, as I mentioned, you do overnight on the Coast Starlight on this trip. And if you are in the Pacific Parlor car, they do often feature a movie in the car as well. So if you are a sleeper class passenger there with your own cabin, you can visit the parlor car and actually see a movie, which is pretty neat. 
Um, now, if you're just going to take the train and coach, that's no problem. You guys do have access to your own observation car as well. So every long distance train on board Amtrak has an observation car and everybody has access to that particular car, whether you're in coach or whether you're in a sleeper, everybody can access the observation cars on those long distance routes. Uh, again, this trip here, the Pacific Northwest, starts in San Francisco. And while you're there, you've got a hop on, hop off uh, sightseeing tour. Again, you go out to the Muir Woods in Sausalito. And this trip includes dinner uh, right on Pier 39. So for those of you familiar with San Francisco, Fisherman's Wharf area is so much fun, lots to see and do. It's right out on the waterfront. And we do include dinner for you in this trip right on Pier 39. So you can get some excellent seafood uh, for dinner there while you overlook the ocean. You're next going to board that uh, Coast Starlight train and head up to Portland, Oregon. Uh, now some beautiful scenery on this half of the Coast Starlight train for anyone who's interested. You actually go through the Cascade Mountain Range uh, on this particular uh, second half of the Coast Starlight route going up all the way to Seattle. Uh, now, while you're in Portland, Oregon, you do have a hop-on, hop-off trolley tour as well. And you do have a scenic dinner cruise to get out on the water again. So a lot of fun there in Portland. Before you finish the Coast Starlight route, on up to Seattle. Uh, while you're in Seattle, you have a guided city tour. So you'll get out and see the Space Needle, Pike's Place Market, and all of the different attractions there in Seattle. You have two nights there in Seattle as part of the Pacific Northwest tour. A lot of fun. Portland and Seattle, everybody, for you. if you haven't been, they've got a really great vibe, really fun, uh, really interesting city, Portland and also Seattle as well. So this one is a six night hotel accommodations, one night on board Amtrak for a total of eight days. Uh, you have that two meals included. You've got the dinner cruise in Portland and you've got the dinner at Pier 39 and Fisherman's Wharf. And then, of course, if you did take the sleeping accommodations, your meals would be included on board Amtrak as well. And, of course, you've got some great tours while you're in the cities. I think that's probably about all the trips I have time for uh, today because I really want to take an opportunity to talk to you about what life is like on board Amtrak. Um, and we're going to start here with the accommodations on board Amtrak. So there's a wide range of accommodations available to you when you travel on board Amtrak. Uh, the most popular accommodation on board Amtrak actually is the coach seating there. Uh, the coach seats on board Amtrak are extremely comfortable. I actually kind of hate the term coach seats because I think it makes everyone think of uh, cramped airlines, but that is not the case here on board Amtrak. As you can see, you've got loads of legroom, uh, very comfortable. As we talked about before, there is no middle seat. So it's two seats and then you've got the aisle and then two more seats. They're very wide and very comfortable. Uh, on all the long distance trains as well, they've got a little footrest that comes up. You've got your tray tables and your climate controls and things like that. Uh, great feature of Amtrak as well. Almost every coach seat has an outlet so you can plug in your iPhone, your uh, tablet, your laptop computer. Um, you can plug in those electronic devices while you take the train as well. Um, often I get asked if Amtrak has Wi-Fi on board. Some trains do and some trains don't is the short answer. Uh, the trains we're looking at today, primarily the Coast Starlight train often does have it available as well as the Pacific Surfliner. Uh, but that's definitely something you just want to ask our uh, travel specialist or your local travel agent about when you're inquiring about the holidays, um, which trains have it and which don't. Now, if you are going to be on board the train overnight, uh, or even if for a very long day, as we talked about, San Fran to L.A., pretty long day, you might want to look into one of the sleeper accommodations. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is the Roomette. This is my personal go-to sleeper. Like I said, I had the opportunity uh, this summer to take the California Zephyr from San Francisco to Chicago and then took the Lakeshore Limited all the way back to Boston, so cross-country trip truly. And I was very comfortable in my Remet throughout. Uh, Remet is designed for one or two people. As you can see here, two people fit very comfortably. During the day, you've got seating with your little tray table. You can play cards or watch a movie on your laptop. Uh, in the evening, they fold down into bunk beds for you to sleep. And of course, you've got your great, big, beautiful picture window so you can see all of that scenery roll by from the privacy of your own cabin. 
Uh, as we mentioned, with the sleeper accommodations, whether you take the uh, remette here or you take the bedroom, which we'll show in a moment, all of your meals on board the train are included for you. And with the remettes, the um, restrooms and showers are just down the hall in private but shared uh, facilities. Now, if you did want to spread out a little bit, maybe you're going to be two overnights on board the train or you just want a little bit more space, uh, the bedroom might be the choice for you. So the bedroom on board Amtrak has a little uh, love seat during the day with another chair so you can face each other or sit next to each other. It's designed for one or two people. Uh, in the evening, it does fold down into bunk beds again, but that bottom bunk is a little bit wider. Um, one of the great features about the bedroom is that it does have its own private washroom inside your room. So you've got a sink and then a little uh, toilet shower stall private to you inside your room as well. So that's certainly one of the nicest accommodations that Amtrak offers on board their train is the bedrooms. Again, you've got a great big beautiful picture window uh, so you can watch the world go by from your room. Amtrak does offer a few other types of rooms. Um, one room that they offer is the accessible bedroom. Uh, so if you are traveling with a wheelchair or you do need some accessibility requirements, Amtrak does have a room for that. And as well, on many of the trains, they do offer a family room as well, which is designed to sleep two adults and two children. Uh, so certainly ask us about that. It's offered primarily on the superliner trains traveling uh, from Chicago westward. So any of the long distance trains we looked at, the Southwest Chief, the California Zephyr, the Coast Starlight, uh, these trains will all have the family room available on there. And we've come now to one of my favorite topics, which is dining on board Amtrak. I mentioned a little bit earlier, but um, Amtrak does serve three meals a day, you know, whenever they're traveling during those meal times. So they'll serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast is primarily first come, first serve. You don't usually make a reservation for breakfast. You can roll on out of bed and head down to the dining car. Uh, again, this food is fantastic, everyone. It is prepared by a chef on board the train, uh, so they'll do up an omelet for you in the morning. Uh, you do typically make reservations for lunch and for dinner, uh, so you can again reserve your time for lunch 12 o'clock or maybe 12.30, 1 o'clock, uh, 1.30, things like that. Um, for lunch, they've got some great options, again, you know, burgers, salads, things like that. And then for dinner, they have steak, and it's fantastic. Of course, if you're not a steak person, uh, you can get fish, you can get salads. Uh, Amtrak does offer vegetarian options. And then for any other dietary restrictions, you would just want to speak with your server, and they can tell you what will and what won't work for you. Uh, one of the great features about Amtrak, actually, is that you often dine with new friends. So if you're traveling as a party of one or two, uh, you can see in the picture here the table seat four, so you very well might get seated with another person or another couple. Uh, it's really actually a lot of fun to meet your fellow travelers and to kind of get to know people as you travel cross-country together. Now, I haven't had enough time to talk nearly about all of our dis different trips and our different destinations today, but if you are interested, you can go right here on our website to AmtrakVacations.com and hit that Destinations tab. That will show you everywhere that we cover in the country. We do the national parks, we do the West Coast, we do the East Coast, and everything in between. Uh, so definitely, if you're interested in these or any of our other trips, please visit us at AmtrakVacations.com and choose that Destinations tab to get started uh, finding more information about your trips. Or if you've got a good idea in mind of what you'd like to do, you can go ahead and call us today to book. So you can call us here at 1-800-AMTRAK-2. Our travel specialists are standing by right now to take your call and answer any more questions you might have or go ahead and help you make those reservations for some of these great California trips. You can also uh, go to the website at AmtrakVacations.com or call your local travel agent, everyone. Uh, they're very knowledgeable, very helpful, and they'd be more than happy to help you uh, with questions or, or to go ahead and book the trip today. Now, we do offer some great everyday discounts here with Amtrak Vacations. Uh, we have a great AAA discount, a senior discount, anybody age 62 or over, military discount for any of our active duty military personnel and their families, and we also have a ch uh, child discount for anybody age 2 to 12. Uh, they get 50% off the rail portion of an Amtrak vacation. 
So we try and make it great for families to travel here with Amtrak vacations as well. And now we're going to come to the part that you've all been waiting for, which is the exclusive attendee discount. And again, everyone, this is just for you folks who are attending our webinar today on any new reservation that you make with us. Uh, the promo code that you're going to want to give when you call up is WebinarCali0913. You can see it on my screen there, about right in the middle, it says promo code webinar. Cali for California, 0913. That's the promo code that you want to give everyone when you call up to make your uh, reservations here. And that is going to save you $100 per couple on any trip where you upgrade to a sleeping accommodation. So we talked about some of the great perks of upgrading. You get free meals. You get access to the lounges at the stations. Uh, you have your own private cabin. You have access to restrooms and showers throughout your trip. Um, you want to upgrade and save 100 per couple, that's going to be promo code webinar Cali 913 You can give that to your local travel agent or to our travel specialist on the phone when you call to make your reservation. And once again, that's for any new reservations that you make here with Amtrak Vacations. And again, everyone, don't forget to download that really handy guide that we've attached here. And in addition, this is going to be our question and answer time, so please, please, please go ahead and type any questions that you might have in that question box. I'm going to go ahead and get to as many as I can in the next few minutes. And again, anything I don't get to, just give us a call or call your travel agent. We'd be more than happy to finish answering those questions here for you. And before I begin our questions, I do have to go ahead and announce our $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card winner. Very excited to be able to do so. The winner of the $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card is going to be Helen Herbert. So Helen, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we'll be in touch with you shortly to give you the details about your $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card. And I'm going to grab the questions now, everybody, and get to as many as I can here. It looks like our first question is from Cheryl, which is a great question. Cheryl asks us, uh, do you also get assigned seats when you get sleeping accommodations? So great question, Cheryl, about how our sleeping accommodations work on board Amtrak. So if you do go ahead and upgrade to the roomette or to the bedroom on board Amtrak, you are going to have a room assigned to you. So you'll have room number 12, for example. And that's going to be your home away from home during your journey. Uh, so during the day, you will have seats in room 12, so you can sit there and uh, watch the scenery go by from your cabin. But if you get a little bored, you want to go take a walk, you can head down to the observation car or down to the cafe car, and you can sit there as well. So anybody, again, on board the train can sit in the observation car or in the cafe car, or during mealtimes, you can sit in the dining car and have a great bite to eat. Um, as far as seats go in the coach area, Typically, those seats are not assigned ahead of time, so it's first come, first serve when you board the train if you do travel in the coach seating. Uh, next question here is um, from Catherine, who asks, are the tours in San Francisco included? Uh, which is a great question, Catherine. So all of the trips that I mentioned today, whenever I highlighted a tour, like the Hop On, Hop Off, or the Yosemite Day Trip, any of the tours that I mentioned as part of that package are absolutely included in that package. Of course, if you saw something else and you'd like to add it to a particular trip, you want to add the Muir Woods to the Californian, that first trip that we looked at, absolutely we can do that for you. There's also a wide range of other uh, activities in each and every city that I didn't have time to cover in our presentation, but definitely just ask your travel specialist here or your travel agent about different sightseeing options and we can put those in for you as an add-on. I've got another great question from Ronnie, who wants to know, uh, what exactly are we hopping on and off on the city tours, and how often does it come around? That's a great question. So it's going to vary by city. For example, in Seattle, the city uh, hop on, hop off is a trolley. In San Francisco, it's a double-decker bus. 
Uh, so it just depends on the city where you are, uh, what sort of accommodation that hop on hop off tour is going to be on. And as far as how often they come around, again, it depends on the city and it depends on the tour. But typically they'll all come around, you know, within about a half an hour. So a bus will come by about every half an hour that you can get off, explore for however long you like, and then hop on the next bus to come around. It's really super convenient and great way to explore the city uh, because you can get on and off at the sites that interest you. Uh, let's see, we've got another trip here, uh, question here, uh, which is, is the same train the one that comes from Portland, Oregon to Los Angeles, California? So I think um, this question here is regarding the Coast Starlight, which does start in Seattle and goes all the way down to Los Angeles. So um, if you did want to take like the Californian or the California Dream in at the beginning, but you did want to take that route all the way up, you could certainly add on the trip to Seattle at the end, or vice versa, you could do the Pacific Northwest trip that we offer, but continue all the way down to Los Angeles. We can customize it however it's going to suit your need. And yes, it is the same train route that goes from Seattle all the way to Los Angeles. And then the other train route we looked at in California was the Pacific Surfliner, which um, goes down to San Diego. Let's see, I've just got time for one or two more questions today, everybody. Um, I've got a great question from Faye, who wants to know if the trains and the tours are mobility accessible. That's a fabulous question, Faye. Uh, as I mentioned, Amtrak does have accessible rooms on board the train, and they also have accessible coach seating. So whatever your needs are, you know, Amtrak can accommodate you. Uh, if you are mobility impaired and, for example, didn't want to make the trek down to the dining car, Amtrak can serve you the meals right in your room. Uh, as far as the tours, a lot of them absolutely are handicapped accessible, and that's just something you want to speak with your travel consultant or your travel agent about when you're making your accommodations. They can let you know which tours will be suitable and which ones uh, might be a bit of a challenge for you there. And I've just got time for one more question before we finish off today, everyone. And that question is from Robert, who asks if uh, the coach seats have access to an outlet. And uh, as I mentioned, Robert, they do. They do have outlets right there at your seat in the coach area, as well as outlets in your roomette or your bedroom. So it's a great way to travel, very convenient for you there. Uh, now, of course, I've got some more questions that I didn't have time to get to, and I do apologize for that, but absolutely one of our travel specialists will be reaching out to help you get those questions answered. And as well, you can give us a call at 1-800-AMTRAK2 or call your local travel agent or visit our website there at AmtrakVacations.com for more information. I want to go ahead and thank everybody again for joining us today. I really appreciate you spending the time as we talk about some of the beautiful trips here Amtrak Vacations has to offer in California. Everybody have a great day. Thank you so much.